What's new in Havoc OS version 4.5 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1? Hey peeps, what's up? Munchie here, back with another video and we have a new official build of Havoc OS version being 4.5 based on Android 11, security patch from May 2021, kernel they are using is Silver Core version 8.9, build is from May 20, SE Linux of course is set as enforcing. Now the first change you will notice is that if you press and hold on the home screen, go into styles and wallpapers and then if you choose the curated culture wallpapers you have new wallpapers which were part of the pixel drop for me and the first three wallpapers are the new ones then the change log mentions that they have added some new clocks as well but it does not mention the name of the clocks so here on screen are the different clocks which are available on the current build Next thing they have done is they have added support for OTA updates. So if you go into settings, system updates, you should now be able to check for updates and install them as well. Next up, if you go into settings, sound, me sound enhancer, enable it, choose a preset. The base booster preset is a new one which has been added with this build. Then if you go into the battery settings and if you tap on adaptive charging, so your smart charging has been moved over here other than that they have also added charging based on battery temperature as well so change the restriction mode to battery temperature and now you can choose your stop charging at and the resume charging at values you can also use the restriction mode to be battery percentage or temperature in which case you should be able to use both the options then they have also added the current battery temperature in your battery settings as well next up they have also added some new tiles so if you access your quick setting tiles the tiles for volume panel power menu compass and the tile to switch between the different languages these are the new tiles which have been added with this build and they have also added data usage for the wi-fi in your quick settings panel so as you can see i have already used 1.26 gb of data ever since i have installed this build next up if you go into the configuration center and then if you go into lock screen for starters you can configure the background blur and then they have also added a toggle to enable or disable the status bar on the lock screen in case you want to use that feature then if you head over to buttons and navigation for starters right now we are using the full screen gestures let us change this to three button navigation and then if you go back you can now change the layout of your three button navigation and then they have also added a toggle to show the left and right arrow keys to control the cursor while typing again this will be visible if and only if you are using the three button navigation style the other new options which you can find over here in buttons and navigation are the toggle to press the volume keys to wake your device or answer incoming calls by pressing the volume keys or you can use the volume keys for keyboard cursor control these options will work irrespective of the navigation mode you are using next up if you head over to miscellaneous you can choose your screenshot type as well so as you can see i have chosen partial now an important thing to note is that this only works when you use the three finger gesture so if i take a screenshot with the button combination i do not get any option however once you enable your three finger screenshot in gestures here it is swipe to screenshot is enabled bam now i can take a partial screenshot as well and as you can see it works without any issues next up they have also added per app volume so let us say i go into the youtube application and if i try to play some piece of music here it is i don't even have to play anything you can see you have the youtube icon over here with the slider so you can configure per app volume as well now while we're talking about youtube do note that 
YouTube media playback is working absolutely fine on this build. There are no jitters, no lags, picture in picture works, live caption works. Of course, for picture in picture to work, either you need to have YouTube premium or you need to be in a specific country. Then we can also open the photos application and try to edit this picture of my favorite football star to see if we have the feature of portrait light or not. Adjust portrait light, bam, here it is, working without any issues. Next up, I have installed Magisk Manager to check for safety net and looks like it does not have access to the internet right now so let us open it one more time safety net check for it and there it is safety net is passing out of the box do note that the device is not rooted right now we can also go to the google play store and here and if you go into about phone play protect certification device is certified this means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues with respect to the recents here it is no jitters and no lags google feed again no jitters no lags here either app opening animations smooth as always no jitters no lags with app opening animations either we can try switching between a few applications as well only if i can get it to work so here it is no issues with switching between the applications as well oh and before i forget let us check whether hey google works or not so as you can see hey google works with the screen turned on let us turn the screen off and check hey google are you awake and as you can see hey google works with the screen turned off as well now those of you who are looking for install video of this rom features of previous builds all those videos can be found in the description of this video and there it is peeps that is what was new in the latest version of havoc os version being 4.5 based on android 11 running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.